New York Times bestselling author Luann Rice has penned more than 31 novels in her latest one, The Lemon Orchard. The, it tells the story of two people from seemingly different worlds, an affluent American born and raised in Old Lyme, Connecticut, and an illegal immigrant from Mexico. Joining us here on the set is Luann Rice. Nice to have you back here to the Great show. Great to see you again. Uh, so the main character is Julia. And as we mentioned, uh, she grew up in Connecticut. Um, give us a little bit more about her background. She's born and raised in Connecticut, kind of like the author, me. Got it. <laughs> and she um, decides she needs an adventure in life. She's had a tragedy, and she decides to drive west, and so she ends up in Malibu, um, like me. <laughs> oh, so there's some real life here based on this. Exactly, <laughs> yeah. Uh, and then she goes to the, the opposite coast, and she meets Roberto, who uh, kind of grew up completely different than she did. Right. He's, he's a Mexican immigrant, undocumented, who's come through the desert to find a better life for himself and his family. And then what inspired you kind of to make this connection? You know, I, I met somebody there um, in real life named Armando, and he and his family had uh, an incredible journey through the Sonoran Desert. Um, they, t and he told me, he was working in my yard, and we began to talk, and slowly this tale unfolded of what he went through and what his family went through. And it was so shocking and so unfamiliar to me. And um, it just awakened this feeling of, you know, wanting to know more and wanting to help. Well, the book kind of gives an up-close look of some of the obstacles that immigrants do face. Can you expand on that? You, you know, he, he, like many I met, are, you know, very just hardworking, living their lives. The part that I focused on was actually the journey, what made him decide to leave Mexico. Mm -hmm. um, poverty, violence. Um, but not anything other than he loved his family so much and didn't want to leave, but he had to get a better life. And they, he and his cousin nearly died um, coming through the desert through, from both the heat and the cold and wow. just the thirst, just unquenchable thirst. Sure. Um, Luann, talk to me about the title of the book, The Lemon Orchard. It, it, well, it's, it's actually, it's, you know, it's metaphorical, but it's real. I, my house in Malibu had a couple of lemon trees. And of course, when you're a fiction writer, you can make a couple of lemon trees turn into an orchard. Which sure you I could, did. right? <laughs> That's the beauty so, of it. Yeah. Um, and you grew up here in Connecticut, right? I did. I grew up in New Britain and Old Lyme. I still have a place in Old Lyme. It's still home to me, always. Very nice. And uh, I understand you've uh, written more than 30 books. You started back in the 80s, right? <laughs> Even longer ago than that. I've done it my whole life. You have. Yeah. How yeah. would you say your style has changed through the years? Um, I still write about families. That's what interests me the most and about relationships. Um, I guess in this case, and, and even the lemon orchard started in Connecticut, took a journey to California, but setting is very important to me. And I, I, I feel like this is my landscape. You know, Connecticut, the, the shoreline in particular, is sure. where, you know, it's what inspires me most. I see. Um, and there's a big honor coming your way. I know. How exciting. Tell yeah. us the details. <laughs> I, you know, it's one of the, I, I'm receiving the, um, the, go the Connecticut Governor's Arts Award for literary uh, achievement lifetime, and I will be receiving the award in here in New Haven with Christopher Christopher Plummer and Tim, Tim Prentice, um, you know, Captain Von Trapp. Sure, big How names. Exciting. <laughs> yeah, that's awesome. Congratulations. Thank you very much. Uh, and uh, people can come out and see you. You have a couple book signings coming up. Yeah, tonight I'll be at R.J. Julia. Okay. At 7 p.m. in Madison, and I'll be at Bank Square Books on June 3rd. Um, and then I'll be at the Old Lyme Midsummer Festival on July 26th. Very good. But then you're taking off. You're doing a grand tour, right? Yeah, I'm going, actually heading out to the Lemon Orchard in Malibu, but Phoenix and oh, Chicago wonderful. and, yeah, all around. I'll be back here a lot, though. <laughs> Very good. And let me ask you, who typically is your audience? You know, I, that's a really good question. Um, I think, I, I kind of picture when I'm sitting there at my desk and I picture writing, mm -hmm. I do have a woman in mind. Um, I don't know her, I don't know her name, but I can see her and I can see her window is open and the breeze is blowing lightly and she has things on her mind. I see. And I like to connect with her through my, through our hearts. There you go. All right, and where can we find The Lemon Orchard? The Lemon Orchard is available now um, online, any, any bookseller. Um, your local bookstore, wherever you like to buy books. It's Very there. good. Well, we'll find it there. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much. Good luck with your tour. Thank you. <laughs> All right. The name of the book, again, is The Lemon Orchard, available just about anywhere.